few people asking about waxing watercolours, so I thought I'd do a little film. Let's hold that away so you can see. What I've done is I've got a cradle board that I've stuck the painting to. I used Mod Podge. You can use matte or gloss medium, um, which you might have for acrylic painting. You want it to be an acid-free glue. Stuck it down, weighted it down overnight, and then using a really sharp knife, just trimmed all the edges so that you've, you've got your panel ready. And then it's very simple. Use basically a cold wax medium. So this is Dorland's, but Gamlin make one, Corneliuson, I can't say that word, Corneliuson makes one. And then it's simply, everything's beeping in the background, a case of waxing it to, to protect the surface. So I just scoop out a little bit of wax and the watercolour will not move because it is water soluble, not wax soluble. You're aiming to get a really thin, even coating. Make sure you've signed it before you do this. Make sure you've removed all pencil marks because once that wax is on, nothing is going anywhere. <laughs> Make sure you do the edges and so forth. Now I'm going very careful, carefully here because I put a little bit of pencil, watercolour pencil on and I have never waxed on top of watercolour pencil so I don't know whether it will smear. It doesn't appear to so that is really good news. But if you're not sure obviously you should test first just go careful rather than being really gung-ho about it so I'm being really careful here. I've now applied wax all over that surface as far as I can jolly well tell. I made sure by looking really carefully there aren't any really thick areas. If you say you have put a bit of a lump of wax on you can just rub your thumb across or your finger across and just pull off a little excess you can see I've just pulled off there and then smooth it down. So I need to leave that probably for about 12 hours to dry. And then let's show you. Take a lint-free cloth and buff it. The other thing that some people use is um, like a coffee filter. That's really good for buffing the surface. But you've got to wait till it's dry, otherwise it will catch and you'll feel it dragging. Um, when you buff it, there shouldn't be any drag on there. This is actually the second coating of wax that I've put on. I did the first coat that you saw and I buffed that up and then put a very thin second coat on. And now it's time to, to buff this. And literally, I mean, it's so easy, use a lint-free cloth. Sorry, this is shaking everything. Um, and you buff until you get an even shine and you have to put a bit of elbow grease in but I'll go careful because that's just going to shake the, <laughs> the camera. Hold it against the light to see where there's a shine and where there isn't and obviously buff out any dull areas. If you feel your cloth catching at any point it means your wax isn't dry. When you're finished, you can see that sort of shine that you're starting to get. I'll do more on this, but that's the shine you start to get. And it's a lovely deep sheen that accentuates the colours and just gives it a sheen rather than a shine. So that's it.